For the second recipe, Prima is going to tell us uh, what she's going to do for us for the second one. Alright, now we're going to do um, sweet potato, potato curry puff. It's a combination actually, sorry, sweet potato and some normal potato curry puff, okay? Okay, okay the ingredients that we need now is like two sweet potato. Okay, I use the organic sweet potato. And uh, this is um, a red potato, one red potato. And about um, 250 grams of uh, button mushroom, okay. and um, about 100 grams of uh, French beans, okay. and uh, this is about half capsicum. Okay. All right, and um, one tomato, red mm -hmm. tomato. Mm -hmm. okay. These are the vegetables, okay. and then we go to our spices and our ingredients: onion, garlic here. Okay. Okay. This is about um, three shallots, and this is about half a centimeter of uh, uh, what do you call ginger, grated ginger, ginger. Okay. and this is about uh, 200 gram uh, minced prawns. Okay. Okay, I'm using prawns, I'm not using chicken. Okay. All right, and this is our spices. Okay. It's about um, one tablespoon of meat curry powder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, about half teaspoon of turmeric mm -hmm. and about one teaspoon of chili powder. And this chili powder is subjective. If okay. you want spicier, you okay. can put in more chili okay. powder and uh, uh, salt according to your taste. And I and love this. It's a coriander. Me too. <laughs> so this one you just sprinkle after yeah, saute everything. All right. So what are you going to do then? We're going to go to the stove and show you how we're going to do the uh, ingredients and we'll get back to you soon. We're back to the stove area now. We're probably going to show you how to prepare for the curry puff. Okay. As usual, you use about one tablespoon mm -hmm. or two, depending on how much your ingredient. Okay. First ingredient is onion, mm -hmm. the shallot, sorry. Shallots. So like what we saw just now, if you want a fast one, just mm -hmm. sprinkle some salt. Mm -hmm. And you can even put in some summary as well. Shredded ginger. Using a lid. 
So we're going to cover it for how many minutes? It uh, depends on your potato okay. and your potato. Once it's soft, cooked, yeah. Yeah. then you take it out. I mean, you open the lid and then we can add in the vegetable. Okay. And uh, we will simmer it and we're done. Okay. And we're going to put our spices later. Alright. So we will come back after this and see you later. Potato looks, and, and the sweet potato looks like it's cooked. Take a check and then take a knife and you know, cut it through. So it cut down easy. Okay, it's cooked. Alright? Then the rest of the vegetables, the beans, the French beans. You can put any veggie that you like. And then the capsicum. Then you can add in your spices, curry powder, turmeric, chili powder. Chili powder is all up to you. If you don't want spicy, that much of spicy, you don't have to add. A tiny bit, a sprinkle of salt. Coming to the shape. Ta da! Okay, we're done. I'm gonna off the plate and I'm gonna garnish the top with my favorite So it has to be mixed because we're gonna put it in the puff. It will come out in the heat. Alright, this is your filling for your pastry for your sweet potato curry puff. Okay, we are back here to show you how we're going to put this made, uh, already done uh, potato into this pastry that Prima has prepared, and she's going to tell us how she can do it. Okay, first of all, the, just to let you all know, this pastry sheet here is bought from a store, alright, from store. So you just buy a pound pastry from any store and you're just going to measure it according to your ramekin size and just cut it. I'm not uh, closing the, the puff today, today I'm going to do something like, like a ramekin uh, form and you know, just going to do like a flowery, flowery form, okay? Now, I cut this rectangle size, mm -hmm. rectangle size, and I buttered my ramekin, and now I do this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna fill in the filling, the sweet potato filling, like this. You can be very creative, you know, sometimes you can even sprinkle some cheese. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're more tasty, you, know, you can do that. You know, if you have kids, you know, they love to mm -hmm. get some cheese. Okay? You just bring this edge, opposite edge mm -hmm. of the pastry, pastry, and you're gonna just press it like this or use some butter. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, there we go. That's all. Right. Okay, and you can also, um, yeah, later we will some egg wash here mm -hmm. using the egg and milk you just egg wash here okay so we're going to finish up this with like this we're going to do egg wash later on top of that and we're going to put it this into oven right Prima? yeah we're going to bake it okay uh, how how long are we going to put this into oven yeah um it's about 20 to 20, 25 minutes 25 minutes you, can, you check when your pastry is brown because mm -hmm. the ingredient is already cooked, right? Mm -hmm. So this pastry should be brown, then you can stop. We'll show you later. Okay. Right. So we will come back and we'll show you the final product. 